I think if you have to leave a show, especially a show like ER, that's the way to go. Almost 30 million people tuned in on Thursday night to watch ER. Nobody could binge watch it. You waited for that next episode and you know, you had seen the previews the Thursday before, so you knew something big was happening. So it was, it was an event. I was happy and honored, yet at the same time, a little bit wondering what I had done to deserve such a, such a big demise. I mean, it was pretty brutal. It was the, the building up of the realization of what was happening to the character in the moment that makes it so dramatic, because the audience sees what's happening before the character understands what's happening. And slowly he realizes he's bleeding, slowly he realizes he's been stabbed, slowly he's losing consciousness, then he falls on the floor, and then he sees his friend, then he sees that she's, then he's literally going out, and he's helpless. And so all of those things building up together with that soundtrack make it a great sequence. I was in New York in my apartment by myself and I started to watch it and I called my husband in Los Angeles and I said, make sure you go over to my mom's house and you don't let her watch this episode because this won't be good for my mom to watch. There was a lot of blood. In order for it to read on camera, there's way more than you end up seeing. So uh, there was a ton of blood. It's very sticky. You know, sticky stuff is really what you come away with at the end of the day, wanting a really good hot shower. To this day, I have people coming up to me. They'll get ashen when they see me sometimes because it was such a, an amazing two episodes. I remember the biggest thing was, how did you do that with your eyes? <laughs> I didn't do that thing with your eyes. You look like you're going unconscious. You really like your practicing out. Ever since I was a kid, I was able to practice this thing where I'd, uh, Everybody got the script and it kind of trickled in. Um, people coming up to me on set saying, um, you're gonna be all right though, right? I think the person who took it the hardest was Alex Kingston. The scene where um, I have the trach and I diagnose myself when I'm covering my trach and I say, Pee. she couldn't get through that scene. She just kept bursting into tears and saying, oh, I can't, I can't do it. I don't want her to leave. What is it? Chest pain, sudden onset. Put her up to 100%. We need to go for a spiral CT right now. Yes, Lucy, PE is a possibility. I think my conversation with Noah after I knew I was leaving, I'd say the best way to describe it was bittersweet. I think he was surprised and I think sad to see me go. Kelly came on that show and we were like rock stars, you know? We were like, who's the new kid? And why is she getting a whole episode about her? And we don't do that and that's not the kind of thing we do. Like we were, I don't want to say pricks, but we were cocky. We worked extremely hard to be the number one show over those five seasons. And when Kelly came on, it was like, earn your keep. Listen, I don't want to be on your case, but you've got to pick up Look, some I just patients. found him in the lounge. I'm Have you suited the leg like yet? I've got the chart right here Good. on my Malik way. Good, Malik stay with this Malik, guy. Malik, just forget it, Carter. He challenged me a lot, and he knew how to do that show so well because he started at the beginning. So I just kind of, I was just like this little puppy, like tagging along behind Noah the whole time. Here's where I harbor a lot of guilt. I was not nice all the time to Kelly. And I feel bad because there were a lot of extenuating circumstances in Kelly's life that I, I wasn't aware of at the time. Because just to give you a little backstory, my sister had passed away a week before I started ER. So ER was all tangled up with a lot of bad time in my life. It was kind of scary and exciting for me to just jump on that train. So to be able to be part of one of their most important episodes is truly an honor and something I kind of like, it's a feather in my cap and I, I keep that with me. I can look back and say that was a singular experience because I've now done a lot of work since then. I've been on a lot of sets since then. I've worked with a lot of wonderful people since then. But that group of people knew what they were doing.